Hi everyone, this is Brooke from My Clone Solution and over the last couple of weeks I've had a bunch of people ask me about using Word for merging. Um, this is something that if you're doing uh, a lot of letters or a lot of labels or a lot of envelopes can get people stuck but will really, really save you time and make you more productive. So I want to show you um, how to, um, first we're going to merge a letter and then we're gonna merge the envelopes. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're gonna want is your letter in a Word document. You're also, let's get some windows gone here. You're also going to want to have your Excel document. And you will not have it open, so just have it where you can find it. And I'm gonna show you what this Excel document should look like. So all of the information that's gonna go into the letter or into the merge, it has to be on this document, and we definitely wanna make sure that it is listed up at the top here. So you can see we have first name, last name, we have our addresses, um, all of that kind of stuff. So just make sure that you have everything that you need inside of this Excel document so that we can do the merge. I'm gonna go ahead and close that because it needs to be closed in order to use it. And we're gonna pull this one up. So the first thing that you're gonna do, let me go to the home screen. So this is where Word starts you out, all right? This, your document is open and you're good to go. What we wanna do is we wanna click on the mailings tab. Then from mailings, we wanna go and the easiest way is to start a mail merge. Click that so you see the drop down. And you know what, let's make it easy on ourselves and do the step-by-step -step wizard. All right, so now on the right-hand side, you see um, all of the different things that we can merge. So we can merge into letters, we can merge into an email message, to envelopes, and to labels. Now, labels can be name badges, labels can be anything that you get as, a, anything that says Avery on it, um, all of the Home Depot ones, all of the ones that you can buy at Staples and the generic, they all have a number on them as they correspond to Avery. So that will, um, we'll talk about labels a little bit later. So right now, we're gonna merge a letter. So since we have that one marked, we're gonna do next. And we are going to use the current document that we have here. And now we're gonna click the next button to select our recipients. And we're gonna use an existing list and then we're gonna go and find that Excel spreadsheet. Mine just happens to be on my desktop. And it is named New Pinellas. Open. And it's gonna ask you which sheet you want. If there's multiple, you just need to know which one it is. But in this case, we only have one sheet. And we're gonna say okay. And then it shows us all of the information that's on this sheet. So we make sure that we have the correct one. So I'm gonna say okay to that as well. And now we need now we know we have the correct stuff, so now we wanna write our letter. All right, so you can add an address box block, block all at the same time. You can add a greeting line. You can add electronic postage if you have that available. But for this instance, because I'm adding a bunch of different things, I'm gonna choose more items. So I'm gonna put my cursor where I want it to be. And I'm gonna choose more items. And now it's gonna show me all of those headers that were up above um, in the Excel document, so everything that was in row one. So what I want is I want first name, insert, space, last name, and I'll have to take out one of those because it's not apparently letting me do it here. Then I want the current street, the address, and then city, state, and zip. Excellent. And then I'm gonna click insert there and close. So now I'm gonna go and get rid of the one. So you have to make sure that you have that whole little um, merge field. 
I'm going to take out this one. So now I have first name. Now we're going to put our spaces in. So first name, space, come on. First name, space, last name, because if we keep them together, they're going to butt right up to each other and we're not going to have any spaces. Then we have street, and I only need one of them. So street, and then we're going to go down to city. comma between city and state, and then a space between state and zip. So now we've got that, so I can get rid of this piece. And because I had this red originally, I'm going to go back to our home screen, and I'm going to turn it black, because that red was really just for us. Now, I want to call them by their first name. So I'm going to do dear, whatever their first name is. And then down here, what I need is the former address. So if you saw that in the original list, that's what I need here. So I'm going to go back to more items, and I want the former street. All right, so now we've got all of our merge fields in. Everything else is exactly the way we want it. Let's go ahead and preview the letter. And so now, as you see, we have first name, last name, street address, and then city, state, zip, our date, and then our first name, and then we have our property name. But as you can see, I didn't put the space in here. So we're going to go previous, and we're going to put that space in there so we make sure we're good to go. And now we're going to preview it again, and that's exactly the way we wanted it. But now let's do this. Let's do go back to previous. Let's make this bold because I want them to see that. Now let's preview that again, exactly how I wanted it. Now, you know, what I'm thinking is that I think I might want to put the city in there too. So let's do that. More items. And this, remember, this was a former. Insert. Close. Now let's preview that. Perfect. So now we have the full city. Now, if say I wanted to underline that, because maybe I want to do that too. I already bolded it. Maybe let's underline it too. Now let's look at that and see if we like it. See, that's even better. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with this and make this happen. Now what we want to do is we want to complete this merge. And now I want to see all of the individual letters, so let's go ahead and you can either print them straight away, which most of the time I don't do, just because I like to go through and check and make sure that everything is correct. So if we edit individual letters, it's going to open a whole new Word document with each letter as a page. So let's go ahead and merge all of them into individual letters. And now you can see that we have letter one, letter two, letter three, and so on. So now all everything that was in that spreadsheet has now merged into the document. All right, so now that we have the letters, let's go ahead and save those.
Make sure you save them somewhere you where you can find them. All right, and now we can go ahead and we can close or you can print those once you've got them that you know that they're good. So I'm going to close for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back to the front of this and I want to do envelopes now. So we're going to click on envelopes. We're going to start the document. We're going to change the document layout. And we want size 10 envelopes. That's a standard number 10 envelope. And everything that comes up here in default for you puts things where you would normally put them. All right, so now what we want to do is this is actually our return address. And then down here, this is going to be our current address with our name and stuff. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We have our list, so we're going to, and our list is already in here. So we're now we're going to arrange our envelope, and we're going to put in more items. And we want to put in first name. Not there. Control Z to undo. Let's try that again. First name and last name. And then we want the current street number, street, city, state, zip. Okay, so now we're gonna get rid of that and we're gonna go and fix our spacing. So first name, space, last name, well, we're gonna put this down here first. So first space, first name, space, last name, current street number, current street address, new line, current city, space, no, comma space, and then a space between state and zip, and a space up here, and this doesn't necessarily have to be that big or come over this far. So let's do that. So now at least we know that anything that's as long as this will fit. Now let's go and check out, make sure that everything looks good. So we're gonna preview. Now this was the first person that was on our list. Everything looks great there. Now you can click these little arrows next to the other recipients and see how it goes. See, he doesn't have an address. All right, so these are extra ones that we don't need. So that's good, that's why we're previewing these. So now, that looks good, we've got everything where we want it. Let's go ahead and complete the merge, and then let's edit individual envelopes. All right, so now we have our envelopes ready to print, as you can see here. So let's do, for this, let's do file and then save. And then this is gonna be Pinellas letters. Now it's envelopes and click the save button so we have it. Now all you want to do is make sure we can close out the original so don't save that. We're good to go. Now I'm going to open up this document because we had one that didn't have an address so I'm interested to see why it didn't pull up. was this one. Oh look, because he doesn't have an address right here, which is why it didn't pull up. 
So we don't have an address, which is why it's not going to be here. So you can see that everything in here is what really pulls over to the other one. So you have to make sure that all of your information is correct on here for the merge to be absolutely correct. So that is how you merge uh, letters and envelopes. Thank you so much for viewing this on My Clone Solution YouTube, and I hope you got as much out of it as our clients do. Thank you so much. Have a great day.